We're here at Fairview. Now, this is the area that General Paxton was bringing his men to from over there in the woods uh, where he was killed. They were heading to this place uh, to engage in a battle. And uh, this, this is Fairview. It's a beautiful overlook. There is an overlook out there that we may go to in a couple of minutes, but uh, it's quite a place here at Chancellorsville. The scripture says in Psalm 68, you know, it says, May God arise and may his enemies be scattered. May his fo foes flee before him. May you blow them away like smoke as wax melts before the fire. May the wicked perish before God. But may the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. May they be happy and joyful. Sing to God. Sing in praises of his name. Extol him who rides on the clouds. Rejoice before him. His name is the Lord a father to the fatherless, a defender of widows is God in his holy temple. And you know, it's, it's interesting that this verse should even be here because after the Civil War, there were a lot of fatherless. And there were a lot of widows. And I believe with all my heart, and, and not only the Civil War, but every other war known to mankind. And I believe with all of my heart that God keeps his promise. And he takes care of those fatherless children and he takes care of those widows in the name of Jesus. The word of God is true and the promises are real. And sometimes, you know, we have to look for our blessings in the strangest of places. Sometimes we have to just see things, see the hand of God in things that the world looks at it and says, man, that is such a disaster. That is such a tragedy. But we can see the hand of God working and providing for us and caring for us all along the way. So I want to encourage you today from Fairview at the Battle of Chancellorsville. Again, this is where General Paxton was bringing his troops through those woods when he was shot and killed. I want to encourage you today. It doesn't matter what your friends say about your situation. It doesn't matter what your co-workers think or your boss or your school teacher or your, your peers. What matters is that you see the hand of the Lord in whatever you're going through. Look for his hand of compassion and love and provision because it's there. He gave his promise. And folks, I still believe that the word of God does not lie. Amen. So we need to put some faith in what God has said to us and watch the Lord work miracles on your behalf. This is Brother Paxton, and we'll see you a little further on up the road. We are at the spot of the, the bivouac between Lee and Jackson. This was the final meeting between the two before General Jackson was shot here at the Battle of Chancellorsville. Those two cedar trees directly in front of you, it looks like a little triangle here. There's a third tree here in the front, and then the two trees in the back are cedars that were planted here to commemorate the final meeting between the two, one for Lee and one for Jackson. So. Those trees are really huge and they're only about 149 years old or whatever it is. And I don't really know when they were planted uh, for the commemoration, but they were not here during the bivouac. This is Angie Paxton, the Battle of Chancellorsville at the Monument of General Paxton. Mark 10. 14 and 15. Let the little children come unto me, and do not forbid them, for such is the kingdom of God. Assuredly, I say unto you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter in. Well, it's been an exciting morning of day number two at the Chancellorsville Battlefield, day number nine of the Battlefield Prayer Tour. And we're excited now. We're going to go in for lunch, and then we're going to come back out to uh, other various sites. I'm sitting here at the spot of the final meeting between General Lee and General Jackson at the Battle of Chancellorsville. And um, later on today, we're going to try to go out to where Stonewall Jackson's arm is buried. 
uh, and that's over on the wilderness battlefield where we were just a little while ago and we taped a couple clips from there so uh, I hope that you all are following these little devotions and these shout outs that we're sending from this battlefield prayer tour 2012 we did we hit Gettysburg we hit Antietam we've hit Chancellorsville the wilderness we went to Brandy Station this morning. We went to Germana Ford. And there's several other spots that we're going to be on yet uh, before we head home to Michigan. So thanks for, for watching these videos. Listen, I really appreciate you taking the time to actually watch the material. I mean, for, for several reasons. Number one, it shows us that you really care. It shows us that you support the ministry of Lynn and Angie Paxton. And we are grateful for that. We appreciate it. We know that time is valuable, and we feel that these devotions are just that. They're, de they're of devotional quality. Some of them are instructive. Some of them are historical. And we feel that it's well worth the few minutes a day or whatever, however you do it, that many of you have spent watching the material. I really appreciate it. I mean, anybody can say, we support you, man. We love you. But actions speak so much louder than words, and that's true in all of life. And I just really thank those of you that have just shown us that you care. You're a great inspiration to this preacher, and I'll say uh, furthermore that we believe God's going to raise some of you up, and you're going to be out here with us in the very near future. So this is Brother Paxton, and we'll see you a little further up the road.